back here on most Buffalo and this is Holy Week. It is the final days of the Lenten season leading up to Easter Sunday. It's a very busiest busy time at the area's largest church, Our Lady of Victory Basilica. Services are planned over the next few days leading up to Easter Sunday celebration. Joining me now is Reverend Monsignor David LaPuma, pastor of OLV National Shrine and Basilica. So Father LaPuma, for people who may not be Catholic, sure. What is the meaning of Holy Week and why is it the most important week for Catholics? This is the most important week for Christians throughout the world because we celebrate really the high holy days of our faith, beginning with Palm Sunday, leading up to Easter Sunday. And we commemorate Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem and then leading up to Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, which we call the Sacred Triduum, the three great days. And it really commemorates the last days of Jesus here on earth before he died on the cross for all of us and then rose from the dead. So these are very significant and really a time for all of us to kind of pause and give thanks to God for the gift of his love. And you're expecting big crowds at the Basilica over the next few days. We are, we had a Palm Sunday, all of our masses were full and I like to tell everybody all the time, all are welcome. Our doors are open every day from 6.30 to seven, but uh, Holy Thursday, our mass will be in the evening, the evening at Mass of the Lord's Supper at seven o'clock. And then Good Friday, our service is at three o'clock for the Passion. And we have Stations of the Cross outside in the cemetery uh, and then inside as well, both at 12 noon. And then there's Stations in the evening at seven. And then Holy Saturday is the Easter Vigil, uh, which is the long liturgy, mm -hmm. uh, where we'll be welcoming actually seven people into the church that evening at Our Lady of Victory, two unbaptized, obviously the bap sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist, and then five others who receive confirmation and Eucharist. And then leading up to Easter Sunday, we have 8, 10, and 12, and we're expecting those masses will be quite full. So we're gonna add extra chairs and make <laughs> sure that uh, people uh, can get in. And a full mass of the Basilica or a yeah. full church is how many people? Well, uh, we say seating about 1,000. Yeah. Uh, and then we add chairs, it could be more, uh, and standing room. So um, it's a magnificent place, it's a holy place, but I hope and pray that people realize that Father Baker created this for us so that we could truly welcome people and inspire people in their faith. And how do you just get it all ready to, to have um, all these visitors over the next few days? Well, thankfully I have a wonderful maintenance staff. I have wonderful environmental decorating people that come in. They'll come in tonight to begin preparing for Holy Thursday. We strip everything down for Good Friday, but then Holy Saturday they'll come and actually bring in all the plants and the beautiful lilies and uh, really decorate the place beautifully. It's always a beautiful place to come and to see, but it's a team of people that make it all happen. And, and that's a miracle in itself, just the way that it's maintained yes. over the years. And you could just get caught looking up at the ceiling yeah. <laughs> throughout the services and just appreciating all the hard work yeah. that's gone into keeping it so beautiful. So um, you'll also be on the air so people can catch mass. Uh, the details for that are on Sunday. Um, yes, we're grateful yes. to Channel 2 for yes. um, putting our Mass on every Sunday, uh, usually at 11 o'clock. Yes, um, this, this, this week it'll be on Channel 2-2, that's on Antenna TV or WGR Plus. You can watch Spectrum and Verizon are also carrying the broadcast, right. so great option. I know if maybe if you're hosting Easter, you can always watch yeah. at home as well, but you said those crowds are back and you're expecting them. We couldn't be more yes. grateful, and yes, the crowds are back and people just are drawn to the Basilica and we're happy about that. And you don't have to be Catholic to come visit. And you don't have to be Catholic. We're open every day, 6.30 to seven, and all are welcome. And it is a place to come and just sit quietly. Any time of day you can find people in there just praying, spending some time meditating. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, a, it's really a place where people can really kind of change their hearts and minds and lift them up. Well, thank you for lifting our hearts and minds today. Reverend uh, Monsignor David LaPuma, thanks so much for joining us on Most Buffalo. We Lauren, thank it. you. I really appreciate the opportunity. Happy Easter. Coming Happy up next Easter. here.